The A340 is powered by four advanced CFM56 5C series engines. Versions of the CFM56 also power the A320 and A321. These have a high power weight ratio and are FADEC controlled with low fuel burn and low emissions. Full authority digital engine control is a fully redundant engine control unit and an interface unit in relation with the aircraft systems. Let's have a look at some of these systems. The electrical power generation comprises four engine driven AC generators, one emergency generator, one APU AC generator, two ground connectors. The DC network is supplied via four transformer rectifiers or three batteries. Two of them being able to supply the AC system via a static inverter. One transformer rectifier and one battery are dedicated to the APU. Hydraulic power is provided by three independent systems, green, blue and yellow, managed by a monitoring unit. Priority supplies for flight controls and brakes. A ram air turbine may be automatically deployed to pressurize the green system. All flight control surfaces are hydraulically powered and electrically controlled. Due to the use of fly-by-wire technology, the A340 is protected against abnormal flight conditions. Primary and secondary computers receive orders from side sticks, conventional rudder pedals and pedestal mounted levers for speed brake. The landing gear comprises two main landing gear assemblies. A centerline gear and a nose landing gear. High pressure air is supplied from different stages of the engine compressor, the APU compressor or two ground connectors. The air conditioning system provides temperature controlled air for each of the four zones. Cockpit, forward, mid and aft zone. Fuel is stored in six tanks, an outer and an inner tank in each wing, a center tank in the center fuselage area and a trim tank in the horizontal stabilizer. The fuel system delivers fuel to the engines and APU. Fuel control and monitoring computers manage fuel transfers to optimize the aircraft center of gravity position, so reducing the aircraft drag. The pilot interactive system, the auto flight system, gives orders to the flight controls and to the engines. It calculates the position of the aircraft and defines the flight plan. The AFS consists of two flight management, guidance and envelope computers or FMGEC. A flight management part is for navigation performance optimization and navigation aids tuning. A flight guidance part is for autopilot commands, flight director and thrust commands. The flight control unit or FCU on the central glare shield provides the short-term interfaces between the crew and the FMGS. Three multipurpose control and display units or MCDUs provide the long-term command interfaces. The central maintenance system provides maintenance personnel with a central means to display interrogate and test the status of various aircraft systems through one MCDU. Levels of maintenance are easily identified. 
for line stop or hanger operations, such as line replaceable unit removal or troubleshooting. The CMS has the ability to display the failure messages in plain English, interrogate the byte of the various systems, Initiate systems tests via the MCDU. CMS increases efficiency, improves dispatch reliability and reduces maintenance costs. An optional aircraft condition monitoring system, ACMS, provides additional functions on aircraft performances, engines and APU monitoring. And also reports can be sent in advance to the base through the ACARS, Aircraft Communication Addressing and Reporting System. Airbus has been pleased to welcome you on board and we hope to see you again soon on one of our next family members.